Welcome to this spoken tutorial on setting up Tomcat and PostgreSQL on Windows 10. In this tutorial, we will learn to install and configure Tomcat 8, install PostgreSQL 11, create DSpace database in PostgreSQL 11. This tutorial is recorded using Windows 10 64-bit OS, WordPad, and Firefox web browser. However, you may use any other editor or browser of your choice. To practice this tutorial, you should have an internet connection to install the necessary packages. You should also have installed 7-zip file archiver. Environment variables for Java, Ant and Maven should be set as well. If not, then please go through the prerequisite tutorials on this website. The commands used in this tutorial are in a file in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file before practicing. I have opened the commands file in WordPad editor on my machine. And I will use the same file to copy paste the commands during the demonstration. The shortcut to paste on the command prompt is Ctrl and V keys. Generally, DSpace is deployed on Tomcat 8 server. Let us now install Apache Tomcat 8. Open a web browser. In the address bar, Type the URL as shown to download Apache Tomcat 8 installer. If prompted, click on the Save File button to download the installer. The download begins in the Default Downloads folder. Go to the place where you have downloaded the file on your machine. In my case, it is in the Downloads folder. Double click on the Tomcat installer file. In the user account control dialog box, click on yes or run button. In the setup dialog box, click on the next button to continue. Click on the I agree button to accept the terms of agreement. To proceed with the default components selection, click the next button. Click the next button to continue the installation with basic configurations. Keep the default path of JRE and click on the next button to continue. Keep the default path for Tomcat installation and click on the install button. The installation is successfully completed. Uncheck the show readme option and click on the finish button to close the dialog box. Apache Tomcat service begins. Now, let us configure Tomcat to start on System Restart. Go to the search bar located at the bottom left of the taskbar. Then type Control Panel. Click on the Control Panel application. Next, go to System and Security Settings and then on the Administrative Tools menu. Administrative Tools dialog box opens up. Double click on Services. Locate Apache Tomcat service. Then right click and select Properties. Apache Tomcat 8 Properties dialog box opens up. Click on the Startup Type drop down and select Automatic from the list. Click the Apply button and then on the OK button at the bottom right corner of the window. Now close the services, administrative tools and control panel windows. So we have installed Tomcat and configured it. Next, let us install PostgreSQL. Switch back to the browser. In the address bar, type the URL as shown to view the installer packages of PostgreSQL. 
Download the PostgreSQL version 11.10 for Windows 64-bit OS. If prompted, click on the Save File button to download the installer. Once again, go to the Downloads folder. Right-click on the PostgreSQL installer and select Run as Administrator. In the User Account Control dialog box, click on Yes or Run button. Click on the Next button to begin the installation process. Keep the default settings for installation location and click on the Next button. Keep the default selected components and click on the Next button. Keep the default data directory and click on the Next button. In the Password Setup page, set the root user password. I will type my password as root. Retype the same password to confirm it. Then, click the Next button repeatedly to install PostgreSQL with the default configuration. Once the installation is over, uncheck the checkbox of Stack Builder. Then click the Finish button. Now let us create a database and a user for it. Go to the search bar located at the bottom left of the taskbar. Then type pgadmin4. Click on the pgadmin4 application. pgadmin is a management tool for PostgreSQL. pgadmin page opens in the default web browser. It might prompt us to set the master password for pgadmin. I will set the password as root and click on the OK button. On the left panel, double click on Servers. Type the Postgres user password to connect to the database server and click on the OK button. Now, let us create a user for the database. In the left panel, under PostgreSQL 11, right click on the login slash group roles. From the context menu, select create and then on login slash group roles option. A pop-up window opens up to create a user for the database. Under General tab, type the name of the database user in the name field. So I will type dspace. Click on the definition tab. In the password field, type the password for the database user. I will type db user pass. Now go to the privileges tab. To provide all privileges to the user, toggle the buttons and change all the values to Yes. Then click on the Save button and close the pop-up window. Now, let us create a database named dspace. In the left panel, under PostgreSQL 11, right-click on Databases. From the context menu, select Create and then on database option. A pop-up window opens up to create a database. Under the general tab, type the name of the database. I will type dspace. Click on the drop-down next to the owner field. A list of database users is seen. Select dspace as the owner of this database. Go to the Definition tab. Click on the drop-down next to the Table Space field and select PG underscore default. Then click on the Save button and close the pop-up window. In the left panel, under PostgreSQL 11, under Databases, we see the newly created database dspace. Click on the dspace database. We will now add a PG Crypto extension to the dspace database. P 
PG Crypto extension allows DSpace to create universally unique identifiers for all objects in DSpace. If submenus are not shown, expand the DSpace database by clicking on the arrow adjacent to it. Right click on Extensions. Then from the context menu, select Create and then click on Extensions. The Create Extensions pop up opens up. Under the General tab, click on the drop down next to the name field. Scroll and select PG Crypto as an extension. Then click on the Save button and close the pop up window. PG Crypto extension is created. Close the PG Admin 4 tab and restart the system to bring all the configurations into effect. So now we have installed PostgreSQL and created DSpace database. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned to install and configure Tomcat 8, install PostgreSQL 11, create DSpace database in PostgreSQL 11. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by Ministry of Education, Government of India. DSpace Spoken Tutorial Series is funded by the National Virtual Library of India Ministry of Culture, Government of India. This script and video for this tutorial was contributed by Pankaj Patil from IIT Bombay. And this is Nancy Verki signing off. Thanks for joining.